have not heard some of y'all missed it I'll do it again I want us to dance corporately for what eyes have not seen and what ears have not heard some of y'all can only shout for what you see but can I get everybody that's got an unfulfilled promise from God something that God showed you that you ain't walked in yet I want you to lose yourself and dance right now for what God is getting ready to do. One, two, one, two, three. Hey, hey. I want y'all to praise him up here for what God hasn't shown you yet. You saw it in the spirit, but you haven't seen it in manifestation yet. unusual is getting ready to take place listen as you're coming into the room right now I want you to hit that share button I want you to tag at least five individuals that you want to invite with you to this encounter tonight I believe that it's not by chance or coincidence that you've decided to log in on tonight but I believe that it's by God's divine providence that you have an appointment with destiny you have an appointment with your miracle you have an appointment with your breakthrough you have an appointment with your deliverance I come to tell you that it's in here right now and what we're gonna do all over the world come on can you just bless the Lord come on come on we're praising him right here that spirit in you but I want you to praise him right there come on I know you're looking at your phone but lift up your hands if you're driving in your car turn up the radio if you're in your office come on I need you to lift your hands let's bless them father we thank you we love you we honor you tonight we give your name the praise we give your name the glory for what you're getting ready to do father we're like David we will bless you at all times and your praises shall continue to be in our mouth our soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear their rub and be glad. All oh, magnify the Lord with us and let us exalt his name together. Come on, spirit with the truth. Let's bless the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Come on, open up your mouth and give God glory. Come on, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. We came to bless his name on tonight. Come on, clap your hands with us.
Put your hands together all over the world. Put your hands together all over the world right now. One more time, everybody say hallelujah. 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 Say hallelujah. Hallelujah in the house. Say hallelujah. Somebody at home to go ahead and put in the comments right now. Say hallelujah. 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 In spite of my issue, hallelujah. In spite of my trouble, hallelujah. In the room, lift your voice, throw your head back and say hallelujah. Somebody to help me give God praise. It feels like church tonight. Come on, from the rising of the sun ah, to the going down of the same. I know he's worthy. Eric, I know he's worthy. I know he's worthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. God bless you. Y'all sit down. Don't walk up on me. It, 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 it feels good in here tonight. Don't, don't. Don't, 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 don't push me, I'm close to the edge. There's a hallelujah on the inside. And I just believe that since we're here in the physical space and in the cyber sanctuary, we may as well give God some praise tonight, Bishop. We may as well give him some glory. Would you type or shout one more praise right now? Come on, praises, come on. God bless you, y'all come on out of there. We get stuck. Yeah. God bless you. Some trust in horses, though, and some trust in chariots. But we will remember the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And spirit and truth run in. And they all say, I got to go. But what's his name? Ooh, Lord. Yeah. Listen, this is the perfect time while we're standing in this room i want to invite you to tag at least five people it's time to go to the online altar it's time to go to the online altar we're going to take our burdens to the lord and we're going to leave them there and we know that if we trust and never doubt we understand that he will surely bring us out and so we're taking our burdens to the lord and we're leaving them there. I want you to tag five friends, five neighbors, five uh, uh, co-workers, five family members. I want you to not only tag the names of people, but I want you to go ahead right now in the cyber sanctuary and begin to put the names of issues or problems or not even just problems, but projects and ideas, things that you want God to breathe upon because we're getting ready to lay those things here at the online altar and we're getting ready to believe that God is going to do something special special in this place does anybody have expectation of great things tonight can I get one witness in here and so as you're tagging those names I want you to believe and understand hear me that prayer does not change things but prayer changes everything and we believe that there is nothing too hard for the Lord you've had a moment to tag I hope you shared this with someone that you want us to pray for but let's look to the Lord now father in the name of Jesus that saving name, that healing name, that delivering name. We come to you tonight on a Thursday knowing, first of all, that you are able. We come to you with our hands lifted, our expectation on high, knowing that you are a prayer answering God. God, you see every name that we have put in the comment section. You see every issue, every project. You see every dream, every goal that we have laid out. You see every request for deliverance and freedom and for healing. You see, God, even now, every way that needs to be made. But now, we ask that you show yourself to be mighty in this place. God, in the physical room that we're in and in the room that our friends and family and our partners all over the world are watching from, show yourself to be mighty and show yourself to be mighty right now. 
we thank you for the healing that's coming right now through the airwaves we understand that the enemy is the prince of the power of the air but we invade his territory tonight and we take dominion over the airwaves and we declare that the same device that is piped in bad news the same device that we're watching from that is piped in drama the same device that we're watching from that is piped in trouble and anxiety we declare that healing is coming through that phone we declare that peace is coming through that youtube page we declare that that, that healing is flowing over facebook we declare that deliverance is coming through the cyber sanctuary wherever the people of god are in their cars in their bedrooms in their cubicles on their couches wherever they are show them that there's no distance in prayer and we declare that it is done right now and they are healed they are saved and they are set free in the mighty name of jesus if you believe it i want you to open your mouth and give god praise amen and amen Come on, give God praise like what you prayed for is already answered right now. God bless you. You may be seated in the sanctuary. What a mighty God we serve. He is so mighty that angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. I want to welcome you to another truth on a Thursday. This is, however, the anniversary edition. I need somebody to help me celebrate because spirit and truth is one year old. I need somebody to help me give God glory in this place for what he has done over the last 12 months and as you have seen and heard all month long uh, we have been in a celebration phase every Thursday night we have dedicated to uh, these powerful some amazing vessels that have come and blessed us on Thursdays all month but I, I'm just I'm just gonna tell you I feel like a kid at Christmas today uh, because one of my one of my favorites is in the house tonight y'all one of my one of my brothers is in the house and I'm just I'm not even looking over there because I if I look over there I might need y'all to excuse me and let me boast. I'm going to just stay right here and talk to y'all. But my brother is in the house. Bishop Brandon Jacobs is here. Would you want to help me celebrate God for this gift? Help me give God praise for him. Hallelujah. We're moving quickly because I want to release him to do uh, what it is that God has instructed him to give us. Uh, he was so gracious and uh, accepted our invitation. And I'll talk about him just for a moment here. Uh, he, he's one of those kind of friends. I believe, uh, Pastor Carlos, that, that, that sometimes the best friendships are the ones that you can't remember how they started. I have, I have no idea when we met. I don't remember how we met. It just seems like we've known. It seemed like we went to different elementary schools together. It just seemed like uh, that's been my brother for a long time. But from the moment we connected, uh, he was gracious enough. He came and supported uh, Young Leaders Conference 2019 and ended up doing one of the prayers uh, on, on that evening, that Friday evening service. And since then, uh, God has just breathed on our brotherhood. And I'm honored to call him my friend. And, and he's going to bless us tonight. He is one of God's best. You know that. That's why you've tuned in. Uh, but 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 before we bring him, I want us, uh, number one, we're going to honor the Lord with our worship in just another moment, but we're also going to honor the Lord with our substance tonight. It's offering time in the sanctuary. I need the blessed people to get excited. And I want to talk for just a moment, and I don't want to hold us. I don't want to hold us too long because I, I feel that God has something special on his mind for us tonight. But uh, I do want to make mention of the fact that in this one year, uh, at this one year benchmark, we have put our foot on the gas and we are moving forward with full throttle and full force. And uh, you've seen over the course of the month the things that our singles have done. You all saw the family reunion uh, that's coming on the 24th and, and partners from all over the country and even parts of the world. Can y'all believe? We have over 1,400 partners now. Can y'all believe that? I, I'm, I'm blown away by God. And many of them are coming, uh, uh, as many of them that can. We, of course, have a cap here at the M3 Center. But they're going to be here, and it's going to be a great time. I'm excited, y'all, because uh, y'all know what happens on the first Saturday in August. Y'all know what happens on the first Saturday in August. We are launching our Saturday night uh, Spanish-speaking service with Pastor Carlos and Minister Emmanuel. And so... Hey, 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 Jesus. Hey, Jesus. See, si, Jesus. See, si, Jesus. Ha, gracias, Jesus. Hey, man, that's my song. Gracias, Jesus. Gracias, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be in here crying and jumping. Amen. But we're doing so many great things for the glory of God. But all of that that we're doing, all of the things that we're getting ready to do, and you all should know by now, we haven't even begun to really share uh, the depth and the width of the vision that God has given us for this space as we occupy and possess the land. But you should know enough to know that this is ground suitable 
people for seed. And I want to challenge you tonight. Listen very quickly. I, I know that normally on our Thursday nights, we ask our partners to bring a seed of at least $20 as the Lord has prospered you. Now remember, if you have a church home, where does your tithe, pop quiz, where does your tithe go? That's, that's right, it goes to your church home. So please don't have your pastor mad at me looking for me because his members put their tithe over. No, support your home church. But those of you that have increase and have a seed, an offering of at least $20, we invite you every Thursday night to do that so that we can maintain vision and expand and grow. But because this is an anniversary zone, an anniversary season, I would invite some of you that will and can and are able to stand with a little bit more on tonight because of what God has done for you. You. There are a number of you, and if you're one of them, I want you just to put it here in the comments. There are a number of you that are going to step out on faith with a $50 seed on tonight. There are some of you like me that are going to stand with a $100 seed, but I need as many of you that can to get a $50 gift in your hand. And, and, and as the Lord would have it, before service started, before service started, I was checking uh, uh, my, my phone, and I got a message, and I, I have to read this. I have to read this uh, because it's the perfect, perfect segue into our giving moment. But the message says, uh, hey, Elder Moore, my name is Jillian and I'm from Toronto, Canada. I just want to testify that after you requested us to sow a $50 seed during that powerful wild seed service on Sunday night, I sensed a pull from the Holy Spirit that I should sow and without hesitation, I said I would convert my Canadian dollar to U.S. dollars, which made my seed $61.70 in Canadian money. She says, at the time I did it, I made sure to type in the notes, it is done. <laughs> as you declared to do so and my two-year-old and I shouted on it at the house. She said, Yoli, they don't believe me. She said, this morning I logged into my bank account only to see a deposit of over $8,000 in my account. Help me testify. She said, over oh, $8,000. She said, I'm speechless, crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji, hands up, hands up, running. That's running with the wind behind it. She said, and I hope somebody shouts it. She said, Jesus did it again. That, that's what the text says. That, that, that's what the text says. Let's see. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. She said, Jesus did it again. Keep on staying at the feet of Jesus, Elder. YLC has been such a blessing to me and my husband. God bless you. But then she said, she said, P.S., that deposit in my account was all I needed to officially be debt free. And, and, and I, I'm just wondering, I'm not preaching tonight, but I'm just wondering since this is Spirit of Truth. Who can open your mouth and shout? Because if he did it for her, he can. It is no secret what God can. What he's done for others, he'll do the same. You shout with your mouth, you dance with your feet. I need somebody to shout right now. Like that free just hit your house. I need something. Yo, I need everybody that's got student loans to shout. Like debt free has your name on it. I need, I need, I need mortgage owners to shout like debt free is looking for you. I, I need pastors trying to pay off buildings to shout like debt free is looking for you. Come on out of there. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to tell somebody. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Since we're here, can, can we take 30 seconds, y'all? And just give God a praise right here. Like he's getting ready to open the windows of heaven. And pour you out a blessing. Come on, I told y'all the cost of admission is praise. Yes, 
She sold that $50 seed into the same soil. I want to challenge you. If God honored her seed with a quick harvest, God can honor your seed with a quick harvest. So I want you now, I want you to step out on faith. I want you to sow that $50 seed. I want you to sow that $50 seed in faith and in the notes. I want you to follow instructions. Put in the notes. Done. That's what I want you to do. I want you to preach a one-word message to your cash app. I want you to push me a little bit, Chris. I want you to preach a one-word message to your giver of that. I want you to preach a one-word message to your PayPal. And that one-word message is done. Whatever you've been waiting on, what you've been believing for, what you've been praying for, what you've been sowing for, what you've been waiting for, what you've been hoping for, I want you to believe that God said that it is done. I want you to sow that $50 seed and hit done right now believe that as you do what you do, God is going to do what he do. Listen, now for the rest of you that don't have that 50, I want you to get 20. If you didn't have that 50, if you didn't have 100 like I gave, if you didn't have 50 like some of us are doing, I want you to get a $20 seed or as close as you can. I want you to get a $20 seed or as close as you can and I want you to sow it in faith. I want you to sow it in faith. I want what y'all said. I want you to sow it in faith. I want you to sow it in faith. We're going to give you 60 more seconds to get on this. Get in on this and I want you to open God. There are people sowing right now. I like that. Sow it. Put done, 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 done. They're sowing in the room. I like that. I like that. I like that. But as you do it, put done. If you're sowing that 20, put done. If you're sowing 15, put done. If you're sowing 10, put done. If you're sowing 5, put done. Whatever seed you're sowing, declare that it is. We got to go. One time, release it. Say it's already done. Say it's already done. What have you been waiting for? So Hey, 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 
it's already done. It's already done. I need you to lift your hands. Move your little coffee table out the way. Lift your hands and lift the sound in your house. And so if you got to go to the break room, if you got to go to the restroom, wherever you are when you find this moment, I want you to give God some worship out of your mouth like that thing is hard. That problem that I had past tense just couldn't sing the song. I tried and I tried. God damn, I turned it all up. Yeah, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. God bless your heart tonight. God bless you. Y'all sit down. Come on. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. I don't care what they said. God said it's done. I don't care. I don't care. God said it's done. And we're moving on. Open your mouth right where you are and begin to give God a sound in this place. Hallelujah to God. We have come up to the most important part of our worship. That is the word of God. Man cannot live by praise breaks alone. Man cannot live by click tracks and good chants alone. But it is the word of God that we need to take us where it is that God wants us to be. And we have, as I said earlier, we have a choice vessel tonight that's getting ready to come in just a moment. Our praise team is getting ready to pave the way just a little bit further uh, so that the word can hit the mark uh, like it needs to. We want preaching to be easy tonight, but we have a choice vessel, a choice vessel. This is not church talk. Uh, this is not preacher talk. This is the truth of the matter. And uh, I, I reached out to him and invited him to come and without hesitation, without delay, without hoops to jump through, uh, without 30 different people to talk to, he immediately consented to come and he asked, he said, what, what, what is it? What is it that you want me to do? What, what is the theme? What is the direction? And I told him these words. I said, I simply need your voice released in our ministry. I simply need your voice. I don't care. I don't care what it is that you say, because whatever you say, I know God has given it to you for us. And I need your voice. God has placed a unique anointing of influence on him, not just in ministry, but in marketplace. He is a, an entrepreneur par excellence. He's a business owner. He's a brilliant mind. He's, a, he's a, a musical gift. He's a preaching gift. He's a leadership gift. And God has elevated him in this season for such a time as this. I do not say this to be morbid. I do not say this to be morbid. But one of the things I love about Spirit and Truth is that we are such a diverse group of different generations. That's why it's such an honor for me to look over and see my mother in the house tonight, Dr. Shirley Moore. That's why it's such a gift gift to have her uh, in this place uh, because we minister to multiple generations uh, but but one of the things that we have to acknowledge if we're going to have the wisdom of the sons of Issachar and be able to discern the time we have to recognize that the generals are getting younger because the fathers are going home are you hearing what I'm saying every generation has generals God will not leave his people without a witness. And, and sometimes because of how we've been socialized and trained to think, we think that in order to be a general, you have to be at least 80. You got to be at least 80, 85. You, man, you know, you're blind in one eye, can't have stand. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I believe that the prerequisite for being a general is you simply need an army. And God has put an army at his command, at his helm. And he is doing amazing things. He pastors uh, one church in two locations, one in Hammond, uh, Indiana and the other in Indianapolis uh, while he serves as senior pastor of the New Zion Temple Church he serves as a uh, a bishop in the Pilgrim International a uh, great, 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 great move of God. Uh, he there serves as a regional bishop over the Midwest and leads dozens of churches forward in progress. But most of all, I think y'all would agree, he is absolutely without question one of the internet's greatest pastors, y'all. Because while his church, y'all better hear me, while his church uh, is in Indiana, his members are around the world. And some, some New Zion Temple done snuck in here tonight. So it's some New Zion Temple I thought was spirit and truth. I don't know. Y'all got, y'all got New Zion Temple shirts under your spirit and truth shirt. But I love it. I love it. That's, that's where sister churches, all right? Uh, but I want you, after the praise team has ministered this last song, after they have paved the way, I want you, even at home, I, I know, I know that it's different, but we're in a, a, a fidgetal church era, physical and digital at the same time. Even at the house, honor works even when we can't see you. If you're in a position where you can, I want you, I know it sounds crazy, but because God's about to do something special, when the man of God comes, I want you to stand up off your couch. I want you to stand up from the kitchen table, wherever you are. I want you to stand as a sign of honor for what God is about to bring us through the man of God that is Bishop 
Brandon Jacobs. I want you to celebrate God now. Give your worship on a new level. Let it begin to ascend now as we go further in the presence of the Lord. And the next speaking voice we hear will be that of our speaker. Let's go deeper in our worship. Hallelujah. If you have not realized it yet, God is not only here, but he's with you. And so we're just going to celebrate what God is getting ready to do. Can you just say this? Say, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Don't just have your way. Take full control. And so, Father, we posture ourselves for you to move like only you can move. Can you lift up a sound of worship as God has his way tonight? We give you glory. We honor you. Here's our declaration. God, you are here. You are here now. So have your way. Yeah. As we bow down. You are here. You are here now. Have your way. As we bow Here I am. Here I am. Drawn by your presence. By your presence. Say this as I stand on holy ground. On holy ground. On holy ground. Say this when you speak. When you speak. Everything changes. And he's going to speak tonight. Say this. And we will never be the same. Never be. Never be the same. Oh. Say, you are here. Oh, just felt something move. Have your way. As we bow. You are here. You are here. You are here. As we bow. As we bow. Say, Lord, you hear. Cries of your people. Say this how we long for more of you. For more of you. Say when you move, everything changes. Say, and we will never be. I'm ready, let's go. The same.
Cinema Sound. Come on. Cinema Sound Church. Come on. Open your mouth and worship Him. Break up and let me answer. We love you, Father. We adore you, Lord. We magnify you. Come on, church. Come on, lift your voice. 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 voice. Let worship fill this room. Out of your belly, worship Him. We praise Him for what He's done. But we worship Him for who He is. Come on, tell Him who He is. You're Alpha. You're Omega. You're a healer. You're a mind regulator. You're a peace giver. You're a strength giver. We honor you, God. We break our back. We bend our bow. We bow before you. Oh, come on, somebody. I dare you bow before him. Hallelujah. Come on, feel this room. Come on. I'm going to push you. Come on. I'm going to push you. Come on. Come on, pour your heart behind up before him. I'm yours. I'm yours. Come on, tell him, I'm yours. Come on, tell him, I'm yours. straight up. Come on, tell him. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, I want to hear you say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, don't be scared of it. Come on, tell him hallelujah. Let me 
he opened your mouth and give him a praise out of your belly like you know he deserves the glory he deserves the honor he deserves to be lifted he deserves to be magnified i dare you clap your hands and open your mouth at the same time and let him know how much you love him hallelujah you're my shame hey hey <laughs> Woo. hey i feel god in here hey yeah man say look at your name and say you don't need a church to fill him you can fill him in a studio oh come on somebody open your mouth and praise him Tell somebody I took it with me. Everywhere I go, I bring it with me. Hallelujah. Glory. Prophesy to the person next to you and tell the neighbor, I don't know what you need, but I prophesy you're going to get it on a Thursday night. Ask him what Thursday. Tell him this Thursday. You're going to get what you need. If you believe it, throw your head back and shout. Come on, let me be good. Y'all better leave me alone. I'm running here right now. I am so honored to be here. I thank God for my friend and my brother. And, and he said it so well. Thank you, praise team. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are amazing. And I thank God, amen, for the excellence of an elder Dr. Bishop, Mark Moore <laughs> Jr. <laughs> Come on, isn't the man of God anointed? And I'm going to tell you, I've learned that you, you, you can't just do things because you, you want to do it. You got to be anointed to do it. And I believe that he is anointed to do what the Lord has graced him to do. And I honor you, man of God. I thank God for you. I honor the anointing on his life. And I'm going to tell you, I, I think that the Lord is raising up a new breed in this generation. Uh, because I, I've seen preachers fight and dog one another. And every chance they get when that, their friend or brother's not around, they're running their name uh, in the mud. But I believe that there is a people with a pure heart who loves to see their brothers and sisters win. Come on, somebody. And it does my heart so proud to see the great things that this man of God is doing. But see, you only get jealous because you don't know who you are. But when you know who you are, you can celebrate another man of God. Amen. And, and this is a shameless plug, but I have my own conference coming up the night. <laughs> But let me tell you, I don't know what I'm doing. So guess what I did? I called somebody who knows what the... Oh, you better say man, somebody in here. You better... I don't know what I'm... I'm a pastor. I don't know nothing about no conference. I called him. Amen. And now I got to get his book. What's the book? Come on, we're going to plug that too. Conferenceinaclick.com, right? You better buy the book. Glory to God. It'll help you. Amen. Anybody that can bring over 5,000 people. Not 5,000. Over five. Come on. Get the numbers right. Over five. Glory to God. To one place in one building and do the things that he's doing. The hand of the Lord is on him. Can we one more time honor the anointing on the Reverend Dr. Elder Bishop. I call, he's got all the titles. We're going to add prophet in the elder, Dr. Reverend Bishop, prophet. <laughs> and to his beautiful mother, 
Come on. I am so honored you are here tonight. I don't know what to do. I think I got nervous all over again when I saw I said, oh, why is mother here? <laughs> Amen. But we thank God. Amen for her and to Pastor Cody and to uh, Lottie Dottie, everybody. My son Christian who's on the organ. Thank God for him. Amen. Brother Cook, I see you, sir. Amen. Good to see you, man. Amen. Everybody, God is good. I do believe there's a word from the Lord. And amen. If you would bear with me, we want to preach it, uh, what God has given us. We're going to be in Genesis chapter 41, verses 37 through 41. Genesis chapter 41, verses 37 through 41. Father, we thank you for your grace to stand. We thank you, O oh God, for wisdom, knowledge, and revelation. We thank you because, Lord God, we understand we cannot speak for you without you. So now, God, we pray that you would use me to be your mouthpiece. I pray that you, O oh God, would forgive me of every sin I've committed, known and unknown in every word, thought, or deed. I pray that you would wash me with your blood and purify me for thine own glory. I pray that you, O oh God, would have your way in this place tonight. Now, Father, I pray what I pray every time I stand. And that is that you, O oh God, would preach me, Jesus. Preach me until a mind is changed. Preach me until your glory hit this place. Preach me until revival break out in here like never before. Preach me to someone online who never thought, but never thought about receiving Christ receives you tonight. Preach me, O oh God, until the glory shakes Atlanta. And for this, we'll give you praise. And we'll count it done. In the mighty name, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. All those in agreement said, Amen. <clears throat> Once again, when you found Genesis chapter 41, verses 37 through 41, signified by saying Jesus. The Bible reads like this. And the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh, man, I see you. And in the eyes of all of his servants. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, can we find such a one as this is a man in whom the spirit of God is and Pharaoh said unto Joseph for as much as God hath showed all this there is none so discreet and wise as thou art thou shalt be over my house and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled only in the throne will I be greater than thou. I want to read that phrase again. Only in the seat, only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. I want to preach from the subject tonight. Can we find such a one? can we find such a one you can take your seat man i love you man hallelujah my brothers and sisters there is a famous soulful r&b trio singing group of guys that came together while singing background for another famous artist these three men were not found as a group these three men were found separately in charlotte north carolina they were singing at different events. Don't be mad at me, mama. They were at the nightclub. They were. <laughs> the manager of this famous artist found them and said, these three separate voices would sound good together backing up this one artist. Watch me now. They sounded so good interpreting the heart and intent of the famous artists when they all got together in the background that Anthony Hamilton would pull them from the background that they might sing in the forefront. They would take Anthony Hamilton's shows to another level in so much they gained a name called the Hamilton. The Hamiltons have their own music out now. They have their own shows out now. They're on their own tours now. And they're taking the world by storm as the Hamiltons. 
they were asking the interview, uh, since you're famous now and, and everything is going well for you and your name has gotten out there, will you leave Anthony Hamilton? They said, no, we are only here because he let us be his background singers. If it had not been for the background, there would not be a main stage. They asked Anthony Hamilton, will you ever let these guys go? He said, they've done an amazing job interpreting the sound that I needed. I hope I can hold on to them for the rest of their life, but I will not hold them back. Let me ask you a question tonight. Whose sound are you interpreting? Whose dream are you interpreting? Whose vision are you interpreting? Whose answer have you become? Somebody's got questions and you just might be the answer that they need. These young men were the answer to Anthony Hamilton's problem uh, that he had some questions to. Please let me put this in your soup while I'm in your kitchen and tell you, my brothers and sisters, that we are all created as answers to someone's question. Can I say it again? We are all created as answers to someone's question. Just as we are assigned as answers to someone's question, God has also assigned other people to us as answers to our own questions. But some of us will never have our own answers until we become the answer to someone else. Uh, can I say that again to all the selfish people on the line tonight? Some of us will never have our questions answered until we become good answers to someone else's question. Uh, somebody in here today you know amen that I've got some questions and I need some answers but God will never allow your questions to be answered until you first learn to become someone else's answer uh, somebody help me say it tonight put it on this live put it in the comments help me quote it in the room tonight I am somebody's answer uh, come on, say it like you really believe it. I am somebody's answer. Uh, the answers are only given when we have the heart to serve others. Uh, uh, so the real question is, who are you serving? And how fervently are you serving them? Let me ask you again. Who are you serving? And how fervently are you serving them? Uh, my brothers and sisters, we serve a God that's turned on by serving and serving with the right, watch me now, loyal heart. Uh, uh, some people are serving, uh, uh, but there is deceit in their heart. Some are serving, but there is division in their heart. Some are serving, uh, but they have their own agenda in their heart. When you're serving, you can't serve with your own agenda. Uh, but when you serve, you got to put your agenda on the back burner. And you've got to say, I'm here to be used. Uh, my brothers and sisters, scripture teaches us to serve the Lord uh, with gladness. Psalms 2 verse 11 says, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Matthew chapter 20 verse 26 says, whosoever will be great among you uh, let him be your servant uh, uh, but, but we can shout over that uh, and we shout over that because that's serving the Lord uh, uh, but you do know that your Bible also talks about serving others First uh, Peter chapter 4 verse 10 says as each has received a gift use it to serve one another as good stewards of God varied in grace which means all of us have a different degree of grace to serve somebody else uh, Jesus said in John chapter 13 verses 12 through 15 when he had washed their feet and put on his outer garments and resumed his place he said unto them do you understand what I have done to you he says you call me teacher and Lord and you are right for so am I uh, if I then your Lord and teacher has washed your feet you also ought to 
wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do just have, just as I have done unto you. Uh, we love doing what we do. Hallelujah for God only. But let me help some of you deep folk that God has called you to also be a servant to somebody else. And please let me help you. Amen. All of us want to serve the preacher. All of us want to serve the pastor. All of us want to carry Elder Moore's bags. All of us uh, want to bring him a cool drink of water. But let me help some of you all and tell you some of the greatest service is serving those who can't do nothing for you. It's serving those who can't put a mic in your hand. It's serving those who can't make your name great. I'm done with you people that only serve somebody with a title and a position. I want to find someone that can serve the least of those. Can you serve those who are broke, busted, and disgusted and do it with a loving heart and do it as glory unto God? Better yet, can you serve the ones you don't like? Can you serve those who've run your name in the mud? Can you serve those who've talked about you and, and you know they don't like you, but because I'm doing it under God, I'm not doing it so that you may love me. My question today is who are you serving and what's on your platter? Help me preach, if you will. Put it in your comments. Ask the neighbor next to you. Ask them, who are you serving? And what's on your platter? Better yet, let me ask a deeper question. Who are you serving? And why are you serving them? What, what are you looking for? I often tell people that want to help me, what, what are you expecting out of me? Because some people serve with an expectation for you to bring them somewhere. For you to do something for them. And if you are here because you want my stage, please leave me now. <laughs> Your heart's not right. <laughs> please walk away now. <laughs> Your I don't need nobody serving chasing the stage. I don't need nobody serving chasing what God has given me. I don't need nobody serving with an ulterior motive. Because guess what? You are not serving. You are working. You got to aim to get something. Hallelujah that I cannot give you How to, if you serve me you've got to serve me under God because the only one that can open doors from you is God I did hear you David tell us in the Psalms that elevation doesn't come from the south elevation doesn't come from the east elevation doesn't come from the west but elevation comes from the north and I don't care if I do give you the mic if you're not anointed enough to handle it you'll never hold it again who am I preaching to in here I come to tell you who are you serving and why hallelujah are you serving them why my brothers and sisters our text our text tonight shows us a man who is hated because of his dream uh, the very thing that Joseph was given as a call the very thing that God had, hallelujah, I feel you now, Lord. I'm sorry. Hallelujah to God. The very thing that Joseph was given as an assignment, it seemed to be the very thing that got him in trouble. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, what we shout about at the beginning of the story, we only shout about it because we know the end of the story. Uh, uh, we're not living through the process. And here is Joseph that's given this dream and he wakes up excited and he runs to tell his brothers. He runs to tell his fathers about the dream that God had given him but the dream he was given only puts him in a pit only allows him to get sold into slavery only allows him to be put in part of his house only allows him hallelujah to God to go from part of his house to prison it looks like betrayal uh, is all around him but yet the Lord says that he's called let me talk to those of you who, who celebrate the call 
call. Uh, but when the call begins to put you in torment and trouble, uh, the first thing you want to do is run from the call. Oh, let me help you. Uh, uh, the real call is not a call for punk Christians. Uh, hallelujah to God. The real call is not a call uh, for some of you, what the old preacher will call jelly bag saints. Uh, hallelujah. Because when God calls you, there is some training you got to go through. And the training is called hell and high water. You got to go through a training called backbiters and betrayers. You got to go through a training called pain and tears. And until you can make it through that, you ain't ready to answer the call. Hallelujah to God. You got to go through some stuff when you say the Lord called me. Here Joseph was. The very thing that caused him pain was the very thing that brought others peace. Joseph has a dream that takes him from a pit to prison. But the very dream that caused him pain, interpreting others' dreams, calls them peace. Has God ever given you something and you had to watch him bless what he gave you with others? You, oh, I need a real church. You watched others succeed with what you thought the Lord told you to do. You, you watched others progress with what you saw God told you to do. And now you're seeing God bless it for someone else. Oh, you can sit here with your cute self. Hallelujah to God. Amen. But then you got to wrestle with the jealousy in your heart. You got to wrestle with the why not me God in your heart. Oh, come on. Can I get a real church in here? I want y'all to take that churchy face off. Glory to God. I come to preach to some real people. Amen. Who's been there. You know you can sing. You know you're anointed. You know you can write music. And you watch somebody who can't sing all that well. Who got a one liner. Amen. Make it to the Grammys. And you're saying to yourself. How in the world did they get there? Hallelujah. And I know how, what God gave me. And I know how great it is. And then God takes you, hallelujah, to be uh, their adjutant. Y'all ain't talking to me here. Can you serve somebody who can do what you do and not as good as you do it? Y'all don't want to have church with me in here. Can you serve somebody who can work the same work uh, and not as well as you can work it? That's what Joseph had to do. He interpreted the dreams of others uh, and watched them be successful knowing that his dream was greater than the dreams he interpreted. What God, hallelujah, I'm sorry. What God was trying to show Joseph was the more you serve others, the more the others you serve can open doors for you. Ah, my brothers and sisters, serve somebody else and watch how God will bless the service you've given to others. No matter what you do, no matter who you are, no matter how great your title, don't forget, we are only servants of the Most High God. Here, Joseph, hallelujah, goes from the pit. He goes uh, uh, to Potiphar's house. After getting to Potiphar's house, he finds himself in the prison. And what I love, I, I ain't got time to really deal with it like I want to, but I love that everywhere Joseph went, he seemed to always grow to the top of where he was. And here is Joseph uh, in, in, in the prison. He has become a ruler of those in the prison. And while he's there, uh, uh, there's a butler and a baker that has a dream. As the butler and the baker has the dream, he interprets the dream of the butler and the baker. Uh, the butler returns to the palace uh, and the baker was hung. Uh, uh, that was the interpretation of the dream. I ain't got time to deal with it because that's not my text. Uh, but after he interprets the dream uh, hallelujah uh, 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 
of uh, uh, the baker, uh, uh, better yet, of the butler. My brothers and sisters, the butler gets to the palace and seemingly forgets to honor who Jojo was. Uh, uh, Jojo is still in the prison uh, and the butler is back in his place uh, and he has not told the king uh, about old Jojo. Jojo told him, when you get there, please don't forget me. Uh, uh, the butler got there and it seemed as if uh, he had forgotten all about Jojo. Uh, ah, but I want to tell you, though the butler had forgotten about Joe, uh, God uh, had not forgotten about Joe. Uh, uh, he allows uh, a Pharaoh uh, to be stuck having a dream. In Pharaoh's dream, he dreams about skinny cows and he dreams about fat cows. Uh, he dreams uh, about how the fat cows were first uh, and then the skinny cows were second uh, and the skinny cows consumed the fat cows uh, but when they consumed the fat cows uh, the skinny cows uh, didn't get any better uh, uh, he dreams uh, about corn uh, he dreams about the plump corn uh, growing first uh, and then the bad corn growing second uh, the bad corn consumes uh, the plump corn uh, but the plump corn doesn't get any fatter he has this dream after having this dream he can't get anybody to interpret the dream Pharaoh's in a rough place he has dreamed a dream that God has given him but no one can interpret it it's Pharaoh's dream he had the dream it came out of him it is his vision but he doesn't and understand it. Uh, let me pause and talk to a leader. Uh, he had a dream. Uh, God gave it to him. Uh, it is his dream. Uh, it is his vision. Uh, but he doesn't understand it. Uh, he doesn't know what to do uh, with the dream that he had. Uh, can I talk to some leaders? This is a leader moment right here. Uh, because a real leader can know uh, that God can give you something. Uh, you know it came from God. Uh, you know that it's for you. Uh, but you don't know what to do with it. You don't know how to interpret it. You don't know where to put it. You don't know what to do with what God has given you. Oh, I want to talk to somebody here in action. Has God ever showed you something that you didn't know how to handle it? You know God gave it to you, but it was too big for you. It was too big for your hands. It was too big for your money. It was too big for your help. And you didn't know what to do with it. Huh? Pharaoh knew he could not interpret what God had given him. Huh? So what did he do? In verse 24, huh? he called the magicians. Huh? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He called the magicians. Huh? Ah, he called the magicians. Huh? And the magicians came. Huh? And they gave him a show. Huh? They showed him fire. Huh? They showed him works. Huh? They gave him this grand stuff. Huh? But after they gave him a show, huh, they could not get the dream right. Huh? Let me talk to every pastor here and tell you, you better be careful of the magicians. Huh? Be careful of the people huh, that's only serving for the show. Huh? Be careful of the people huh, that's only serving to be seen. Huh? Be careful of the people that's only serving for tricks and wonders. Huh? Because what they don't understand is it's not the trick that gives me my interpretation. I need somebody who got a relationship with God. I don't need your smoke and mirrors. And the church is full of magicians because uh, the magicians only showed up when the king showed up. Uh, the magicians only showed up uh, when the king was present. Uh, the magicians uh, didn't have nothing to say until the king came. Uh, let me help you, Eldermore. Uh, watch the people uh, that can't serve uh, unless you're present. Uh, watch the people uh, that can't serve uh, unless you know it. Uh, watch the people who can't give. Uh, unless you know what they're giving because their heart ain't right you got folk in church that will only do when the pastors show up you ain't swept all day long but you heard Raven Clark pull up and you trying to run and get a broom sit down somewhere you ain't been in rehearsal on time all year long but you heard pastor was coming and now 
know you were early bird. You're a butt kisser and a superstar. And we don't. You are a magician. And tricks are for kids. We don't need magicians. We need interpreters. Can you see what I see? Can you reveal to me what I can't understand? I need somebody who can sit down and say, this is what God was telling you. Uh, I need somebody. I need somebody who can come to me and say, I can get it done. I'm not looking to be a superstar. Uh, I like what Joseph says. When Joseph shows up, they said, listen, I know nobody was able to interpret it for you. I know, I know no, nobody was able to make it plain to you. But I remember a man in the prison. I had a dream, and he interpreted my dream. He told me just what God was going to do for me. He said, I can call him if you want. He said, call him. Joseph got there. And I love what Joseph says when he showed up to Pharaoh. He says, he says can you interpret my dream? Pharaoh says, interpretation comes from God. <laughs> He says, I'm not getting ready to take the glory uh, of what comes from God. Uh, he, says, he says, I'll do my best, but I need you to understand whatever I give you uh, is coming from God. Uh, I'm not getting ready to be grand. Uh, I'm not getting ready to be a wonder. I'm not getting ready to be more than what I am. Uh, all I can tell you is what I got. Uh, I need you to help me preach real good tonight. I need you to find somebody on this line and I need you to tell them listen don't you put my name in lights please don't you give me no glory please don't you make me bigger than what I am because what I got come from God I told somebody the other day I said don't you rely on my voice don't you rely on Christian on the organ don't you rely on nobody what I got come from God because I can lose my voice but if I depend on God, he'll come on through me. Your mind I shake. Hallelujah to God. I need somebody to lift your hands and holler. What I got come from God. Don't you depend on me. Don't you depend on my gifts. Don't you depend on what man has given me. What I got. Joseph. Hallelujah. Goes to Pharaoh. And he interprets, move the magicians out the way. Let me serve you with what God has given me. I prophesy that God's going to send you dream interpreters. He's going to send you people that can interpret what's in your heart. Because where God's going to take you is so big. You don't need, you don't need magicians. You don't need smoke and mirrors. You don't need the trick show. I need people who can interpret what God has given me. When I give it, you hear it. You see it. It's plain to you. You're not doing it because of who I am. But you see it. You're spiritual enough. And I to see what's down on the inside help me preach and look at your neighbor and say neighbor I prophesy that as you serve others God's going to send somebody who can serve you oh come on here look at another and tell them I prophesy as you interpret somebody else's dream God's going to send you somebody to interpret yours he's going to send you somebody to open the door as you stand on the backstage he's gonna send you somebody who will stand in your backstage that says I got you I'll hold you up you don't need to call my name you don't need to give me honor I'm here to serve can we find can we find I'm getting out your way Joseph 
Ilamandos. Oh, I feel God in here. Oh, my Kanama. He involves himself in the interpretation of what God was doing in Pharaoh. Can I help you, my brothers and sisters, and tell you that when you serve with the right heart, that serving is worship. Can I tell it to you? I'm getting out your way because I feel my train coming. But before it get here, and before I jump on it, I got to tell you that serving is worship. You do remember, my brothers and sisters, when the children of Israel were stuck in Egypt, Moses tells Pharaoh, he says, let the people go so that they might worship the Lord. That word, worship means proskuneo. It's two words. It is to kiss or it is to submit one's life. In other words, what it says is, when I serve others, hallelujah, as under God, it is a way for me to worship him. When I serve, not looking for my own glory, it is a way for me to worship God. When I serve you as under God, it is a way to worship God. Please help me preach. I look at somebody and tell them the next time you serve, don't do it for grand. Don't do it for glory. Do it for God. And if you do it for God, you will show up with the right heart. If you do it for God, you will show up on time. If you do it for God, you will serve with everything you have because you're doing it for the glory of My mama, and I'm out your way, we moved to New Jersey because my mama said that the Lord told her to move to Jersey. We moved to Jersey, and even though God told my mama to move to Jersey, it was the hardest season of our life. My mother, because she didn't want us going to a school in the ghetto, she went and found a one-bedroom apartment in the suburbs. In that one bedroom apartment, our living room was our bedroom and TV room all at the same time. But my mother, in order to maintain the rent of that apartment, she had to work two jobs. I don't know how my mama did it. She worked two jobs to keep a roof over a one bedroom apartment. She work two jobs so we wouldn't have to get on welfare and, and struggle. My mama worked two jobs and I will never forget uh, seeing my mama come home late one night, tired after me and my brother had been there, coming home from school. And I asked my mother, I said, Ma, how do you do it? I said, Ma, are you okay? My mother looked at me. She know my family, you know. My mama looked at me and she said, I, I, I do it because I'm not focused on what I'm doing. My mother said, what keeps me going is the focus of my children. She said, so when I wake up in the morning, hallelujah, and I drive to work, and I'm tired in my body, I'm not thinking about my job. I'm thinking about my children. She said, when I leave work at 5, and got to be in my other job at 6.30, and when I stop at McDonald's to get me something to eat in between jobs, uh, and pull in the parking lot uh, and make my seat go to the back uh, and take a nap in between jobs. Uh, hallelujah. I'm not focused on my job. Uh, I'm focused on my babies. Uh, and because I'm focused on you, uh, it helps me to do uh, what a tired body uh, sometimes can do. Uh, come here, church. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you uh, is what will help you do uh, what you don't want to do sometimes. Uh, is not focus on what you're doing. You got to focus on who you're doing it for. Who am I preaching to in here? I just need you to find about five people and ask them who you're doing it for. Oh, come on here. Who you doing it for? Who you doing it for? Who do you want to get glory out of this? Who do you want to be blessed through this? Who do you want to make great through this? When you do it for God, it don't matter how man feels. 
feels when you do it for God they can talk about you they can run your name in the mud they can call you a nobody but what helps you to press is I'm not doing this for man all that I'm doing oh, I need somebody to wave your hand and I need somebody to holler all that I'm I'm doing it for God I gotta get out of here now and before I leave you tonight, I've got to tell you, my brothers and sisters, when you do it for God, you do it for him so that he can get the glory. If you don't mind tonight, I need you to do me a favor and look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor in the face and tell him, neighbor, when I serve others under God, I realize that others are the assignment, but God is the focus. Your neighbor, your neighbor didn't get it. So find you another neighbor and say, neighbor, when I serve others as under God, I realize that others are the assignment, but God is the focus, and I'm doing what I'm doing so that the Lord can get glory out of my life. Too. But I stopped by to tell you that the Lord is going to use your righteous heart that he might get glory out of what you're doing for him. And if you don't mind the name, I need you to do me a favor and look your name in the face and tell him, neighbor, I have not seen them and ears haven't heard them. what God he's getting ready to do in your life but the only way that the Lord is going to do it in your life is if you got a right heart can I tell you what I new generation you got the gift but you ain't got God you're able but you're not anointed you got the ability to make that thing happen but in this next season God he don't need nobody who's just able but the Lord needs somebody who got an anointing on their life if you don't mind the night if you don't mind the night do me a favor do me a favor do me a favor 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 and tonight you need an anointing on your life y'all don't want to have no church I said you don't I said, you don't need the oil. I said, you don't need the oil. I said, you don't need the oil. Look at somebody and say, hey, neighbor, you don't need the oil to make sure that you're able to move in the next level that the Lord is calling you to. I'm closing now. When I tell you tonight that if you learn how to interpret the dream of somebody else, God is going to bring you into your own season where somebody can interpret your dreams. Joseph interpretation of Pharaoh's dream. 
was the revelation of his own because Joseph was able to serve God used his service to bring Joseph into the season of increase in his own life if you don't mind I need you to do me a favor and tell your neighbor tell a neighbor be encouraged because as you serve God he's getting ready to take your service and turn around and bless you for it how do you know it I know it because my Bible says that God is not mocked whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap do you hear me tonight I stopped by to tell you that you're getting ready to reap he could have been the Bahia, Bricatana Mianso, Ikiana Mandia. I wish you believe it. You want to find you a neighbor. Tell him, neighbor, what you've sown in tears. God is getting ready to let you reap in joy. You served others, but your season is on its way back. You've given the others, but your season is on its way back. You've done for others, but I got one word for you. It's payback time, and can't nobody pay you back like God. Y'all don't want to have no church. Can't nobody pay you back like God. If you don't mind, you want to tell somebody, tell them now. Tell them neighbor, the prophet can't pay you. Tell them neighbor, your job can't pay you. Tell them neighbor, the choir can't pay you. But I've got a God, I've got a God, I've got a God that can pay you back for everything you've given. If you know you're going to reap. You ought to wave your hand. You ought to open your mouth. You ought to scream. You ought to yell. You ought to holler. Because God, he is able to pay you back. If you know he's able, you ought to wave your hand. You ought to give God praise. Because can't nobody do me. Like Jesus, can't nobody do me like the Lord. He's a will in the middle of my will. He's a shelter in the time of storm. He's a shelter in the time of storm. He's a shelter. He's a shelter. He's a shelter. He's a shelter. He's in the time of storm. He'll cover your life. He'll cover your mind. He'll cover your body. He'll bring you through. He'll make sure that you got joy. He'll make sure that you got peace. And I don't know who, who I'm preaching to, who I'm preaching to, but I come by to tell you that if you stay. It's a reaping season. It's a reaping season. Your commander, Ikiana Mandaboho, Brikatanabianse, Rokomahaya, Inamansata, Brukonabahaya. I feel God now. I'm trying to leave it alone. But the Lord told me to tell you, you get ready to reap. You get ready to reap. You get 
getting ready to read. You getting ready to read. You need to help me preach. And get out your way. And go find five people. Tell them you getting ready to read. You getting ready to read. You getting ready to read. They don't believe you yet. Find the right one. Tell them you getting ready to read. 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 I'm trying to leave it alone, but I feel a reaping. I feel a reaping. I feel a reaping. I feel a reaping. I know you feel like Isaiah. It ain't rained in about three years, but I come by to tell you to be encouraged. Cause up above my head, I see a cloud the size of a man hand, and I come by to tell you. When I tell you that I see you looking at me, saying, Bishop, you don't understand. I didn't have backstabbers. You don't understand. They run my name through the mud. You don't understand. They dog me out. But I come by to tell you, don't worry about it. Go to bed tonight. And pull those covers up above your head because we've been might endure for the night. But grab your neighbor's hand and tell him, man, it'll be all over. 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 It's going to be over. Open your mouth and holly. Somebody walk in. Somebody walk in your reaping. I dare you start walking in. I dare you start walking in. Move out my way. Move out my way. He's sending me dream interpreters. He's sending me dream interpreters. Can you find such a one? Can you? F- Lord, I feel breakthrough in here. I feel the Holy Ghost. He can may send you help. He's getting ready to send you help. He's getting ready to send you help. I ain't saying you ain't got it. But what God's getting ready to do for you is so much bigger. He's gracing your hands for something bigger now. He's trusted you. He's tested you. And God says, what I'm getting ready to do for you, what he's getting ready to crown your mind with, is so much bigger. You don't have the money for it. You don't have the resources for it. You don't have the help for it. But he said, be encouraged. Because he's going to let you find such a one. You served others. And now, they thought it was your turn. But how? Your turn is coming now. Bring it up Dream interpreters. 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 Now come in church. I dare you wave your hand and holler dream interpreters. Dream interpreters. Dream interpreters. Dream interpreters. 
get out of here, lift your hands, woman of God. I don't know how you would hear this. I don't even know what it means to you. But the Lord will have me to tell you, go back and pick it up again. He says, and this time, I'm going to send you what you need to make it happen. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. God's getting ready to send you the grace to accomplish what he told you to do. He said, go back and pick it up again. Y'all better loose me. Oh, I feel God here. He said, go back. He said, go back. He said, go back and get it. I'm going to grace it this time. Ain't nothing going to stop it. Ain't nothing going to stand in your way. And this time, I'm going to see you the right people with the right connections, with the right access. Well, I'm going to pull you back and shoot you like an arrow. How you tell me and say, how God, I feel God in here. You come on and say, somebody holler at her and say, pick it up again. What's her name? What's her name? Yoli? Yoli. Somebody holler, Yoli? Pick it up again. Pick it up again. Pick it up again. I can't hear you, church. Holler, Yoli. Pick it up. Somebody over your mouth and shout. Oh, I feel God here. You're about come here, Elder Moore. That woman of God in the back, I'm done. Run to me. Run, 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 run. Run, run. I don't think I'm crazy. Go back and run again. Come on. Come here, Elder Moore. Where you at? Now this time, I want you to run as fast as you need God to do it. Ready? Run. Run. Uh, okay. 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 I need your hand. Come here. Come here, woman of God. Come here. Come here. Come here. Lift your hands. Because guess what? God's getting ready to send you some dream interpreters. How? How? You've interpreted others' dreams. How? Lord, I feel church. How? 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 You've served others. It's your turn now. You're my say. Oh, come on, sisters. Don't be scared. Y'all got to work like an old school church. How? Shana. Ikea Manso. Oh, God. Iman The same grace. 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 How? That's it. Your man say, cover her. How? Somebody holler the same grace. God's getting ready to do it like he did it for you. He's getting ready to do it for her. Your man say, how? What you do in secret, God will reward. God's gonna make him an example because of his humility. God's gonna make him an example. Ha! I need somebody to open your mouth and give God a shout. Ha! I didn't come. I'm sorry, church. How? I feel God in here. I feel revival in here. Pick that dream up. Pick it up again. Go get it. Don't you quit. Keep serving where you are. And God's getting ready to make it happen. On your, you hear me, sound man? I know they don't prophesy to sound me. But lift your hand, man of God. God's going to send you help. Whoosh. I just heard a fresh wind. I don't know if you got your own business or not. But God said, get ready. He's getting ready to send you help. He's getting ready to send you help. He's going to send you a fresh wind. People you can trust. People you can depend on. He's going to send you help. Where you can go to sleep and still make money. Oh, come on here. Somebody wave your hand at him and holler, dream. 
Demon Tim As he prays him, sound I need some brothers who can go back and praise him with a sound man. Come on, church. He can hear no shit. Can I be answered, Eddie? Hey, hold on. Come on. I need Pentecost. Come on. Hata. He could have a brandy. I said, Ricky and a man. Glory. He can a man. So I feel the praise now. I feel the praise now. I feel like running. I feel God now. You're back. Ricky and a man. Say, you're not a man. Say, Ricky and a man. You're not a man. Say, you're not a man. Ricky and a man. Ricky and a man. Say, you're not a man. Say, Ricky and a man. You're not a man. Say, you're not a man. You're not a man. Say, you're not a man. some space praise him camera sir find you some space I dare you get up off your couch I dare you grab you to hold of a counter or a chair because this praise is for dream interpreters God said if you keep serving where you are if you keep on being faithful I'm getting ready to send you the help you need a real dance in here church when I holler Jesus I want everything in here to go to dancing like you know God get ready to do it praise him sir I like those who start without me let's go Gina!
of you, mother, that young lady right there, lift your hands. I want you to lay hands in her belly. Your body shape. Because we're stirring you. You anointed. And you can sing. But as mother lay her hands on you, she's opening up another realm of glory. Woo. He said, you're not just a normal psalmist. He said, the key of glory is in your mouth. <laughs> your kata, as you open your mouth, God says, I'm unlocking glory. Yaka, you got to be consecrated. You can't do what everybody else do. You can't go where everybody else go. You can't hang with everybody. Glory. Glory is in you. Glory is your assignment. Glory is in your belly. Thank God for every closed door. Because God is opening doors when they need glory. That's it, mother. Give 
move on. But if you know how clapping shifts seasons, you will be clapping right now. Your clap shifts season. I like this floor. Where my name is, show me. Right here. I'm 
leave us alone. Come on. See, there's a certain level you get in praise where miracles happen and the preacher ain't got to lay his hands. At New Zion Timber, we've seen praise us getting glory and God healed cancer, literally. We had a woman bleeding out of her head through her lip noids. They said she had stage four cancer. We got in this praise and it got so thick. The saints couldn't do that tricky stuff. They just had to grab the back. We got up in that thing for about an hour and mother got up and started doing her own thing. About seven days later, they said, we don't see. See, y'all play with praise. But I grew up in the type of church where praise wasn't a joke. We've seen miracles happen. We've seen God save people while the praise was... See, you can't do that tricky stuff again. That's a way to glow. 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 Praise the babies. Look at the babies praising them. Praise the babies. Ha! Those young kids. Praise them. Train them up right. Praise the pastors, kids. my name was to sow a $500 seed into this world. He ain't asked me to sow no seed. He ain't asked me to raise no offering. But I know what's on my brother. I honor the oil. Y'all ain't talking. And I know how to interpret a dream of somebody else. We so selfish, all we think about is our turn. Well, you got to know if there's turns, somebody got to turn before you. And oh, somebody got to turn after you. So if my turn going to come up fast, I got to push your turn. Come here. Face that way. We're going to face that way. Come here. Y'all get in line. Get I ain't mad. That's it. So guess what? Push that girl in the front. Everybody push her. Now get out of line now. Get out of line. What's her name? Yoli. You got to get out of line, baby. You'll t push the next person. Now, huh? Push the next person. If we keep pushing. Then what? Huh? You caught it. So when my turn comes, if I was at the back and you was at the front, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. You see how she got back in line? I dare you tell somebody, get in line, baby. Tell them, get in line. Tell them, come on. Tell them, they ain't in line. Tell them, you got to push me. Tell them, uh, if you want your turn, you got to push me. Then it becomes a revolving blast. And my turn will keep coming.
Elder Ball won't bring me back. He's <laughs> I want somebody to get a seed that says, I'm pushing spirit and truth's turn. Because if I can push that turn, I'm, you know, I'm going to my seat. My turn is right around the corner. Get that seed. You might not be able to sow 500 like me. There may be someone who can sow 5,000. I prophesy a $500,000 seed. I prophesy a $5 million seed. See the work and sow. See the work. Ta -ta 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 -ta. And there be unsow and sow. But if you ain't got a $5 million and all you got is 50, get it right now. I want you to holler, I'm sowing. Put on this line, I'm sowing. Bishop, I'm sowing. There's probably about 10 pastors on this line. 10 pastors. Where you see the work, you want to put your seed in the ground. Get that $500 seed. There's 10 of you. But can I tell you, this ain't just for pastors. There's probably about 10 entrepreneurs that says, I'm sowing, Bishop Jacobs. I'm sowing. You may not be an entrepreneur, but you're a CEO. You're a dream interpreter of another entrepreneur. And I'm sowing. I'm sowing. I'm sowing. Uh, Elder Moore says he's sowing his 500. Pastor says he's sowing his 500. Woman of God says she's sowing her 500. Come on here. Half of it's in the room. Mama says she's sowing 500. Come on here. I'm like a God who gives increase. Praise him, Pastor. Praise him, son. Go praise him, son. Ha. Praise him. Some are sowing 5,000. Some are sowing 500,000. Some are sowing 5 million. I believe God holds. 
number of grace and I prophesy that as you sow this seed God's going to grace you to pick it up and do it again but this time I'm going to do it and win try it again you just might win Look at your neighbor and prophesy to him. Say, neighbor, try it again. You just might win. I dare you. I find you a neighbor on this lab. Tell him, I dare you. Try. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Praise the woman of God. I dare you. I like spirit and truth. Praise the woman of God. I like it when you scream a praise. I need somebody that's gonna pick it up again to pick up a praise right now. Hey, hey. Bishop said, So you run and then you dance. Then you run and then you dance. Then you run and then you dance. Then you run yeah, and then you dance. Then you run and then you dance. Then you run and then you dance. So you run. still sowing. Get in on this moment. Get in on this moment. If you're going to run, run. If you're going to run, run. But don't let them run by themselves. Somebody pick up behind them. So, so. 
For the anointing that rests in Bishop Brandon A. Jacobs. I need you to help me thank God for the gift. Oh, come on. We got to do better than that. We got to do better than that. What a blessing he has been. Come on, somebody celebrate God for his yes and for the anointing that he carries. I want to dismiss us tonight. What a glorious time it has been in the presence of the Lord. Let nothing stop you from being with us on Sunday. Remember, we're three services on Sunday. 7 a.m. Sunday morning express. 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship. And then 7 p.m. in the evening, our Sunday night revival. You do not want to miss what God is going to do all day on Sunday. Make a note now to tag somebody and make a note now if somebody you want to join you in the worship service because God's about to do something crazy this weekend. We are in a season of revival. And can I release something over you? And I hope you'll catch it in the spirit. We are under an open heaven. You didn't hear what I said. I'll say it again. I need you to hear it in your spirit. I need you to hear it in your spirit. We are under an open heaven. I hear the Lord saying, ask for a hard thing. And let's see what he's going to do before the week is over. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless you. We glorify you for what you've done and for how you've done it. For how you've moved and for the ways that you've made. God, be with us now. Henceforth, from the moment we end this prayer to the next time we come together, keep us covered under your blood. Do what only you can in Jesus' name. Pour back into the preacher who has served us so well tonight. Strengthen him for the journey and the assignment ahead. We thank you for the victory in Jesus' name. Name. Let the glad people say amen and amen. God bless you. Go in peace and serve the Lord. We'll see you Sunday. Take the Lord along with you. Everywhere you go, you're going to need him. You're going to need him.